So a good question was asked that a subclavian line was inserted in a patient and instead of going towards the heart, it got rolled up and went upwards towards the IJV. But the line is working fine. The line through the subclavian is in the IJV rather in the heart or the SVC, but it is working fine. So whether we need to remove the line or whether we can continue using this line. So is there any risk? What should we do? So understand that as compared to the arterial system, the venous system flow is a slow flow system. The arterial blood flow with a very high pressure rate. So the chances of getting it clotted, it is a little bit less. But the venous system is, is a slow flow drainage system and it uh, flows a slow rate. So the chances of getting it clotted is a little bit high. Now, you, if you uh, see that all the venous lines, all the lines which are inserted into the venous line are with the flow uh, in the patient, whether you insert an uh, intracat or you insert an IJV, it, it goes towards the SVC. So the drainage is in this direction and your uh, I, uh, central line is also in direction and the infusions to the central line is also in the same direction. In the subclavian, when we insert, the blood is draining in this direction towards the heart SVC and the subclavian infusions are also going in this direction. But whenever the line gets coiled up, so what happens now the line is in the IJV in the upper direction. So the blood, uh, the infusions are going in this direction and the blood is draining towards this direction. So it's an opposite direction. So whenever in the venous system, the blood uh, faces an uh, resistance, the chances of getting it clotted becomes very high. So the chance of, of uh, thrombus formation is very much high in the venous system in, if the line direction is opposite to the venous drainage system. So that's why if you have taken the line in emergency and you don't have any assess and if it is working fine, this misplaced line can be used for some time. But as soon as you get an opportunity, as soon as is it feasible, you need to correct it or you take another line. So for emergency use, you can continue using it. But as soon as you get an opportunity, as early as possible, you need to correct or change the line. So this is the logic behind uh, changing the misplaced lines, especially if it is against the flow of the venous venous system. I hope this clarifies. I have already told this in previous some of the lectures, I think. But again, this is a good question. So I thought of answering. So uh, thank you for asking and do read more about it.